so now I'm going to talk about some of the more uh, advanced uh, offensive mechanics or just kind of advanced uh, gameplay mechanics uh, if you're looking to get good at Revolution 3, <laughs> which we all, which we hope you are. Um, so the first thing I'm going to talk about are some of the uh, combo properties. Um, you know, we just talked about basic weak attacks, heavy attacks, things like that. Um, and you know, some attacks will uh, trip you, some attacks will knock players down, some attacks will lift. Naruto, you know, pushing down a B will do this like trip, you know, attack. Um, and from there you can kind of get that on the ground damage that I was talking about. Um, you know, his back B will kind of, whoops, excuse me, will kind of knock opponents down. Um, and then his up B will lift. All right, so those are kind of three different hit properties as well as just kind of neutral B will just put him in hit stun, you know what I mean? So knowing where and when these different types of hits will happen will allow you to kind of create new permutations, you know, so it's a basic combo. You could actually stop, you know, this combo instead of mashing out six weak attacks, you can actually stop it here, start a new combo if you know you're about to, your opponent's about to get lifted. Um, so you can actually, you know, truncate, excuse me, truncate your combo string, start new stuff. But part of not only learning your character's attack strings are learning kind of the properties that go along with them. So to put your opponent on their heels or kind of put them on their toes in terms of like not being able to punish you or counterattack you. So you have these kind of like safe combo string opportunities where you can continue to pressure them uh, and then start to create mix-ups from there when they're afraid to do stuff. There's a lesser used uh, mechanic which has existed in the game for a long time which are uh, cancels. You can actually cancel moves similar to like a rapid cancel or a roman cancel or something like that. So during a move that lifts an opponent and keeps your feet on the ground, you can press the throw button to cancel. And a cancel costs 25% chakra, so you'll see my chakra meter kind of like go down and charge back up because I'm in training mode here. Uh, but a simple cancel that Naruto has is his forward A attack. So this like kunai swipe, it can cancel. So when you see me, when you hear that sound and you see me kind of go into that stance, it's effectively just canceling uh, the entire uh, recovery portion of the animation. So if I do, you know, towards A and then I try to combo you, there's no way I can use, you know, a, you're on the ground, I can hit you maybe for just like one hit. Uh, but if I cash in 25% chakra, cancel, I can begin to attack you from there. Um, so you get a lot of situations where uh, you can start freestyling a little bit. It's a little more kind of like open-ended or kind of improvisational uh, combo situation. So, you know, I kind of showed you just that situation earlier where you can truncate your combo, start a new combo. Um, you know, a pretty bread and butter kind of combo for Naruto is his weak, 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 lift him. So what I just did there was I used a cancel to jump up and air throw them where I normally wouldn't have time to jump up and grab them out of the air when they were like that. Uh, those are kind of cancels. Uh, those, that is the cancel function. 